Our second fight of the evening at 93 kilos, we have Tom Summerscales making his debut from the rep out gym, team rep out, and we have Carl Izzard from Total Dojo who is 0 and 3. What do you know about these two fighters, Andy? Uh, I know very little about them to be honest. That was a, that was a oh, good, big leg kick there good good from Tom. I think. Uh, Tom the fighter in the hot, hot pants style shorts. Carl in the longer evolution shorts. Now some good knees coming in here from uh, from Tom against the cage. Oh, and Ooh. He went for the body lock takedown, didn't secure the hips and has landed himself on his back with Carl inside control. I believe Carl has a famous cousin um Eddie is out, the cross dresser. Is that right, Dave? That's right, yeah. Don't look much alike, though. Might be the m lack of makeup. Yeah, different on a Saturday night, I think. Now, is there any reason, Andy, why um, a fighter would favour the hot pants style shorts rather of the longer shorts? Uh, maybe just for the um, the fact that. Uh, the uh, opponent can't grab them and use them like gee bottoms, possibly. So it would uh, help with takedown defence and, and such. Yeah. Yeah. What do you prefer to wear, Dave, when you're fighting? My preference is I've always fought in the uh, hot pants now shorts. Any colour that you actually prefer? Anyway, back Car to the fight. Car Carl's uh, uh, looking pretty comfortable inside control. Uh, not really working for many submissions, just keeping the position. No, Tom's looking to escape. He's uh, switching the hips around. He's not really bridging to escape. More of um, a jiu-jitsu stand. Oh, uh, here we have a, a key lock attempt. And he might have that. It, it looks quite well secured. Now, to defend that, he needs to straighten his arm out. And he's not That's doing that. This could be on. It's interesting, he's managed to pull, on, he almost pulled half guard, but he needs to use his legs more from the bottom here. He needs to be straightening that arm out, unless he's got very flexible shoulders. And he's, he's escaped it. Done well there. Good work there. Good work from both fighters. Referee Mark Woodard standing the fighters up, and they're back to the feet. Oh, and then, uh, another leg kick. Um, do you think that's uh, poor balance from uh, Carl, or do you think that's actually just a really solid a nice kick? sweep there, nice, um, <laughs> but he swept, got top position and then gave his back. Um, Tom needs to look to get his hooks in in that position, which he yeah. failed to do. Let's see, that was a very basic mistake there. Going Carl for the next guard with no position. problem. That's the end of the round, so who do you give that round to, Andy? Uh, I'd give that round to uh, Carl for the position on the ground rather than uh, than to Tom for the the two good leg kicks that uh, caused him to fall to the floor. So, do you think those were extremely hard leg kicks, or do you think there was uh, some reason why Tom 
Dropped him as well. Possibly Tom's more of a, a ground fighter and went to the ground of his own accord. What would you say? It's interesting, if I was in um, Tom's corner, I'd be saying go back out there and kick him in the legs again. I'd agree with that. Let's see what he does. I think uh, Tom's a 17 year old, is that right? Did you hear that? Yeah, I believe so. So, ready for round two. Cornerman out of the cage. Let's see what the game plan is for round two. And then, it'll predictably uh, kick straight away. Now working away in the clinch. Again, we have no headshot standing in this fight. A judo style takedown reversed. Let's see if Tom can hold position on the ground now. And both fighters back to the feet. Now Carl's is looking for that single leg, but it's going to be quite difficult. Oh, well. Oh, Tom's going for a guillotine. Um, Guard both pass very both easily again. Both fighters rushing here a little bit, Andy. Do you think? Yeah, I'd agree with that. Uh, really, they should be um, looking for a, t a solid takedown position and then looking for a submission rather than just throwing themselves in for something. I'd like to see Cal uh, attempting more submissions from I was, uh, position. I was about to say the same thing, but he's, he's pushed... Um, Tom up against the cage, which would make it very difficult to attack for the far arm. He would have been better in the middle of the cage with some distance. He's going to struggle to get the, a submission on his knees. Oh, well, as I said, that is just starting to. Oh, he's going to lock it up. I thought he might go for a short arm scissors. And then he's attacking at the far arm against the cage. It's going to be very difficult to get the uh, the far arm while he's against that corner post. Tom here should be using the cage to boost off, he should be using that, uh, uh, turning his feet around. He's not even making any attempt here to bridge or um, escape, Andy. Do you think there's any reason for that? Um, I can't see any reason. I, I, I'd like to see him run his legs up the cage and try and... Uh, now, Cal needs to be careful here because Tom, it looks like his only plan here is to try and slip down the back. Cal doesn't look to have a very tight position, he, he seems to be attempting something on this near side arm, but I don't think he's quite sure what. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Yeah, looks Other like the referee, referee wasn't um, sure either. Other than putting the guy's hand between his legs, I'm not sure what that was. Maybe that's what he's into. Well, that was a leg like, kick attempt there. And, uh, a, oh, uh, that looked like a... Um, a low blow, but uh, to his credit, Carl uh, took it quite well. Now, it seems to be uh, quite a bit of the sting's gone out of these strikes now. Both looking quite tired here. But I suppose we are into the middle of the second three minute round. Or coming to the end of the second three minute round. We've just had a ten second. Uh, some knees against the cage. That's the end of round two. I would just call that one, Dave. It was quite an even round. I would um, possibly give that round to Tom, making that the fight level. Um, he got the takedowns, reversals. But then Carl did have quite a lot of time in uh, top position. He just didn't do anything with it at all. I'd agree with that there, I think uh, it was a, a pretty even round, but I might just edge that one to Tom. It'd be interesting going into the last round, one round apiece. See if our judges are thinking the same way. I expect Tom to come out for the uh, third and final round um, with the leg kicks again. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would definitely gamble on the being a leg kick to start off the fight. 
So, third and final round here with Tom Summerscales of Team Ripout and Carl Izzard of Total Dojo. And a leg kick. And he's got taken straight down to his back from it. Now, attempting that yeah, same yeah, submission he's, um, he's putting that hand through his legs. With a not. It looks like he's attempting a short arm scissors, but the arm's bent the wrong way. Yeah. Is that. Do you think that's right? Or I think that's what he was trying to do, but I think maybe he needs to go back to the gym and work on that before trying it again. His control on the floor is definitely uh, diminished from earlier on. He's um, turned up very easily from that. The de defense to the uh, the leg kicks jumping in the air doesn't seem to work to me. Yeah. Some uh, big swinging shots coming in now from Tom. Carl's looking very, very tired. He he's actually standing as if he's not in a fight. He Tom's very active with his strikes, and uh, I think Carl's. I think Tom can see that he's tired. Uh, and yet again, he's um, thrown himself into exactly the same position. I, I, oh, he could be going for the short arm to the. No, nope, he's going for a key lock on the near side. I'm not sure that'll good. work. If he didn't get it in the first round, it I think it shows that Tom does have quite flexible shoulders and going for it on the near side is going to be a very difficult task. He could maybe take that over, use it to... No, I'm... Complicating I don't think it was. <laughs> <laughs> I do think this needs to be a dominant round for one of the two fighters. This, this fight, this could decide the fight. I could maybe attempt to get on his back. Tom working the strikes. So as a whole on this fight, it seems that Tom's been the better striker. Carl has been, um, I'd say better maybe um, on, on the ground. Look, look here in the, the clinch. He's managed to gain top position several times from uh, Tom's failed takedown attempts. And he's held position on the floor, although not been able to do anything with it while he's been there. And there's are some fairly heavy strikes coming in there from Tom. There's some pretty good shots there. He should continue that. He needs to have a strong round. Both, both fighters need to be fighting to win this round. This fight will win them the fight. Letting some shots go again on the inside and working the knees. Pretty good knee to the belly there from Tom. It would be interesting to see how the judges score this, whether they're uh, scoring the strikes, the body and the legs, in the amateur style. Well, the rules of um, the scoring are beginning with effort, effective effort, then actions within striking, clinch and takedowns. That includes submission attempts, transitioning, positional successful techniques. So I suppose it's just what the judges favour then, really. Right. Well, we've come to the end of the bout. The, uh, Tom looks a lot fresher than Carl. Carl looks very tired at this point. <laughs> the Ringo was trying to get in with the uh, fourth round card, then I don't think there is a fourth round to this fight. So over to uh, MC Andy Sledge for the judge's decision.
Thank you.